Hey everybody, David Henry here from LearnStageLighting.com and I've been seeing a lot of chatter online lately about folks wanting to timecode things in Onyx, so I wanted to make just a really quick tutorial here to show you how to timecode things in Onyx and, and how to make them work together. So I'm going to open up a few tools to make my life easier. The first is called Loop MIDI. This is just a MIDI looping program and I'll make sure to have uh, this noted in the show notes below in the uh, description on YouTube. I just went in here, I pressed the plus sign when I first installed it, create a new MIDI port, didn't do any other configuration, I'm good to go. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to open up Time Lord. So Time Lord, there's an editor, a player, and a pro DJ. I'm going to start here with editor. I'm going to drag that over here to my second monitor. When Time Lord initially launches, uh, you need to set your MIDI devices. So set both of these to loop MIDI, because that's going to be inside the same computer here, and press OK. Now, if you don't have an activation code, if you haven't paid for Time Lord, then in a show situation, it's going to stop at random times. So if you're going to use this in a real show, definitely buy it. If you just want to play around with it and see what it does, you know, it's free to evaluate. But of course, if you're going to use it in a real show, that's kind of important. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new queue here in Time Lord. This window pops up and I want to go here to my source, browse, and I'm just going to find one of my songs that I used to make Christmas lights on my house last year. This is, oh God, rest ye merry gentlemen. Awesome. I'm going to leave everything else the same. Press apply. Good to go. Now if I hit play, I get music and I get time code. Keller. So... Now let's open up Onyx. I'm going to go ahead and, and as I open it, I'm going to open a fresh version of the demo file that comes installed with Onyx. So we just go here to load, go to samples, go to Onyx training. We'll get a fresh version of that show that hasn't been modified at all. This is just, you could start with your own show, but I just want to do this um, so that I can show you what's how to do this quickly. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead, click on this main show queue list, and then go to queue list values. Here I can see the triggers are all go. This is good to go. So I'm going to right click on this and turn it into a timecode queue list. Perfect. So now we can go ahead, open up the Onyx menu, go to the main menu, go to IO settings, and go to timecode. You can set that to MIDI because that's what um, Time Lord is sending out. Turn it on. Press apply. Perfect. Now I've got my cue list values here and I'm going to test it. I can see now when I hit play, I've got my time code in Time Lord. It's working perfectly with Onyx. I can press stop and uh, Time Lord is going to zero out, but notice that they're going to in Onyx, um, that's not going to reset until it gets valid time code again. So now all I have to do is set this up with time code numbers. Um, my favorite way of doing this is to get close by pressing the go button and then um, to refine it and get it perfect by entering the actual time code. So what I'm going to do is pop this into edit mode. And what I want to do very first, actually, before even that, is I just want to go. I've got nothing in my programmer and I want to record a new queue. So I'm going to record queue point one, enter. And that one is going to be my arming queue to to get this ready to go. So I'm going to set the fade time to zero. We're going to give it a name called arm and we're good to go. Awesome. So now I'm just going to hit play on that first cue here. And then I'm going to press learn timing main go. Now, depending on what console you've got, you may have a, a go button above your faders, but then there's a main go section. Um, I've got an M touch and it's here. You can also use the virtual console window that's available inside Onyx. So I'm going to go ahead, holding the hand touch on my lap here because I'm running out of room. And I'm just going to fire this. Turn the music a little. All right, now I'm going to hit play. All right, so there, 
I've triggered them all, so let me stop the music. Killer. So now I can go ahead and I've got time code values for all of these. If I need to change them, I can go and I can just click in this trigger setting and then I can set the time code, which is going to be, uh, what is it? It's hours, minutes, seconds, frames. And so you just type that number in if you need to change it, if you need to tweak it a little, or, you know, you could just run it again and, and keep this learn timing on and trigger it manually. Um, so TC fall has got to be gone. That's how it is by default. And then I'm going to stop this. And I'm going to restart my show. So it's very important to have this arm queue because inside of Onyx, it doesn't fire time code unless you've got a queue previous, like an arm queue, to start everything. And the reason it does that is so that you can have multiple time code queue lists and then use whichever one you need at a given time. Um, so it doesn't automatically, like for example, I've got nothing playing right now and I can play the time code. I'll just turn the music off on the mixer so you don't hear it. And time code's running, but we're going to hit nine seconds and this thing's not going to go forward because I haven't played that first queue. So we'll stop our time code again, fire the first queue, fire time code. And now once we hit nine seconds, we'll see our time code queue list start and we'll see everything else advance. So it's pretty simple and, and, and you know, I think you can get the hang of it pretty easily. Uh, I hope this video has helped you. If it has and you want more information on Onyx, especially if you're starting from scratch or you want more information on building a really cool show, come check out Learn Stage Lighting Labs. I've got a variety of videos there that will really help you get up to speed fast. That's at learnstagelighting.com slash labs. And of course, be sure to subscribe here on YouTube. Thanks.